Good morning, aloha from Florida. So let me say this as clear as I can. There is no debate, there is only denial when it comes to the earth being flat or the earth being a globe. It's really cute that we're having all these debates. It's really cute to call it a debate when there is no scientific evidence. There is no observable, measurable, repeatable fact that the earth is a globe. There are, however, dozens and dozens of experiments that are observable, measurable, and repeatable, proving emphatically that the earth is flat and stationary. Uh, this new thing that's come out about the final experiment. Oh, we're going to go to Antarctica and see. We already know there's no 24 hour sun in Antarctica. How do we know this? The analema. How do we know this? There's no motion to the earth. There is no 24 hour sun in Antarctica. So are all these paid shills, these paid liars, these people who are invested in lying to humanity about the earth being a globe? Are they really going to change their mind when they get to Antarctica and see that there's no 24 hour sun? Or are they going to fake something like some flat earthers believe? Are there patents for a solar simulator? Hmm. Is it possible to project a bright spot of light into the sky from some other technology we don't know about that is actually seen in a lot of old world artwork? Projecting a sun into the sky. Hmm. The earth is flat and stationary and that's an absolute scientific fact. You cannot prove it wrong. That right there, those two things right there, the natural physics of a large body of water. It never displays convexity on its surface when it's in a large body. And two, the horizon. There's no geometry on the horizon. It's always flat regardless of altitude. And much of the land, as I've said so many times, above the ocean and beneath the ocean is measurably flat for tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of square miles at a time. The earth is flat. This is scientific fact. There is no debate. There is only denial from the people who are promoted and propped up by the algorithms online. There is denial from people who want to believe in Star Wars and Star Trek and outer space. There is denial from the pseudoscience community. There is no observable, measurable, repeatable fact that the Earth is a globe. No, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> so, you can debate all you want but a debate is truly a waste of time and allows the paid shills, the paid liars to bring up all these irrelevant points when you can't prove that that right there behind me displays convexity on its surface at some magical scale. You can't prove it. We can prove on a small scale, a medium scale, a large scale, and even a very large scale that the natural physics of a large body of water is to be level on its surface, not convex. So tell me, at what scale does the natural physics of water magically change from being level on its surface to displaying convexity? At what scale? Come on, Neil deGrasse Tyson, tell me. How about you tell me at what altitude can you actually see the alleged curvature of the Earth? Why don't you tell me at what altitude can a astronaut float in space and because gravity is no longer holding him or a better yet from my friend gene here's a special question at what altitude does something that weighs 100 pounds on earth only weigh 50 pounds because the effects of gravity are less <laughs> pseudoscience the globe the heliocentric hypothesis is nothing more than pseudoscience it is a religion that demands blind faith reality our observable reality is flat and stationary this is a geocentric system. This is an intelligently designed, enclosed, electrical, topographical, stationary Earth. We commonly call it flat Earth. There is much proof for it. There is zero proof for the globe. Go see um, Eric Dubay, 200 Proofs Earth is Not a Spinning Ball. Go see um, Ben at Taboo Conspiracy and dozens of experiments, observable, measurable, repeatable experiments, proving the land is flat, proving ice is flat. Uh, over a lake, proving water is flat over lakes for distances that would obviously have curvature if the Earth were a sphere with a 3,959 mile radius. Uh, go see, uh, who else? Uh, ben, uh, no, not Ben, uh, Eddie, Eddie Allen Carr. 16 emergency landings proving flat Earth. Go see David Weiss at Flat Earth Sun Moon Zodiac Clock app. Go see Vika Drazev in the two documentaries he did. One flattened the curve with commercial and military pilots, all proving emphatically with real world applications, the Earth is flat. 
The other documentary that I'm in with him and a few others is called The Mechanical Realm, about the perfect repeating cycles of everything we see in the sky over us based on the Antikythera mechanism. The Earth is flat. There's no debate about that. You can debate it if you want. It's a waste of time. There is only denial. There is no debate. There is only denial from the globe believers. Have a great day. God bless.